A moving average shows an average of data points for a certain number of time periods. We call it moving because each data point is calculated using data from the previous X number of time periods. By averaging the prior data, moving averages smooth the price data out to form a trend following indicator. They do not, however, predict price direction, but instead define the current direction. Though, of course, they lag due to being based on past prices. Despite this, moving averages help smooth out price action and filter out a lot of noise in the market. These moving averages can be used to identify the direction of a trend or define the potential support and resistance levels. They also form the building blocks for many other technical indicators out there like Borlinger Bands, MACDs, or the McClellan Oscillators. Now, there are two main strategies for using moving averages in the marketplace. The first type is a price crossover, which is when the price crosses above or below a moving average to signal a potential change in the trend. For example, if the price falls below the moving average, it could be a good signal to sell or short, but if it breaks above the moving average, that could mean it's a good time to buy. Another strategy is to apply two moving averages to one chart, one longer and one shorter. When the shorter term moving average crosses above the longer term moving average, it's a buy signal, as it indicates that the trend is shifting up. This is known as a golden cross. Meanwhile, when a shorter term moving average crosses down below a longer term moving average, it is a sell signal as it indicates the trend is shifting down. This is known as a dead or a death cross.